When you pop out in the winter, you always take your jacket, but you also always leave something behind. It's a simple device, but a lot of work goes into the ordinary wooden coat hanger. The handy wooden hanger keeps clothes off the floor and helps keep them more or less crease free. Their life starts out here at a sawmill. A log this size could probably produce around 2,000. Beech wood is useful for two reasons. Firstly, the wood is a hardwood timber with short fibers which gives it strength. And secondly, it doesn't produce excessive sap and that makes the wood easier to work with. Once the planks have been cut, the carpenter swings each length around to another table where he can cut it down to a more manageable size. For a good hanger, the bark definitely has to go. The next step is to shape these square panels of the raw wood. The carpenter passes the block back and forth across this curved saw. Like slicing a ham at the butcher's, he slices off a fresh curve of wood each time. But this is only the beginning. Next, the banana-shaped wood slices are fed into this machine. Here, they will be given some of the more familiar features of the coat hanger. First, some of the rough edges are removed. Next, the indentations which will help hang spaghetti strap dresses are carved into the tops. You may have noticed that these hangers are looking a little on the large side. Well, you'd be right. This next machine produces several smaller slices from each chunk. A quick shake to remove the sawdust and one thick hanger has now become five normal sized ones. These are then stacked up in this special formation. The freshly cut wood needs to dry, but not too quickly or it would warp. This slow drying process takes about two weeks. The traditional shape of a familiar hanger is slowly emerging, but at this stage the material is still quite rough. This machine sands them down. As each new one is passed along the sanders, it knocks the finished one in front into the waiting bin below. So far, the hanger factory has produced nice smooth curves of wood, but if they are going to hang your coat up, they're going to need a hook. Holes are drilled into the wood, and each worker can prepare about 400 an hour. With the holes complete, they're ready to be hooked up, but not yet. First, this carpenter is adding them to one of these frames. They need to sit securely, so he hammers them into place. Destination, a varnish bath. The hangers will be handled on a daily basis in whichever cupboard becomes their new home. The varnish coat will make them more robust. When they're removed, any drips are brushed off and the hangers are left for 12 hours to dry. Using this system, the carpenter can coat over 3,000 new hangers every day. So, are they ready for their new hoop now? Well, actually, no. First, a support bar must be added. This will be nailed into place along the bottom. The most important task for this bar is to hold up the trousers that go with a suit, for example. And finally, the hangers are ready to get their hook. The worker will select one hook and one fresh hanger. They are placed in here and the machine does the rest.
So, from a single beech log, this production plant can turn all that wood into over 2,000 handy hangers to store your clothes.